brutally honest review of the new update. We will test the new Spanish Frigate, the new Strike Fighter, the drone, a new cannon and the auto cannon. So stay tuned because I will tell you if it is worth it or not. Okay guys, so this is the new Spanish Frigate that we have in the game. Okay guys, so this update was a surprise because we didn't have any kind of leak in this new update so this was so fast okay so this is actually one of the first items that we're going to test because there's a bunch of items okay so this is actually a new camouflage okay so personally i will talk about that later but i think that those are the worst camouflage that they have added since they released this game. Okay, so this is the original equipment of this free gate. Okay, so I didn't change anything. So I'm gonna try to destroy Bro Like. That's RF Moscow. So we only have one cannon, but the craziest thing is that we have four grenade launchers, guys. That's crazy. We can destroy all the torpedoes. So I'm gonna try to get them back. I'm gonna destroy those torpedoes. Okay, so let's go for that CN type 100. Okay, so we have this torpedo, which is a fixed item too. Okay, so this is a fixed weapon. This is the same torpedo that we have in the Peng aircraft carrier. Okay, also in the Aquitaine as well. So as you can see, we can fire four torpedoes. I'm gonna try to destroy this CN type 100. I'm not gonna use more repair kits. So this is the helicopter that comes with uh, this warship, okay? So this is the Comanche helicopter. I'm gonna deploy it and use this torpedo, more missiles, and the cannon, bro, like <laughs> nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna destroy that. Yeah, yeah, let's go first for this and uh, then we will destroy that. Moscow class. Okay, bye bye my friend. That was the first elimination. Now let's go for that battleship. Okay, so that's actually a strong battleship. Okay, so look at the damage of the grenade launchers. Okay, so that's only the grenade launcher. 91,000. Okay, so the most important thing is that we could actually change those grenade launchers. So now imagine if you equip four nuclear grenade launchers, guys. That's crazy. So now we have a bunch of grenade launchers. Remember that there's a laser guided grenade launcher. There's actually another one that allows you to destroy enemy aircrafts. And that's actually another good option. And the most important thing is that you will have more countermeasures against enemy torpedoes. So that's cool. Also against uh, submarines, because remember that you can destroy submarines with uh, those grenade launchers. Okay, so look at this. We're going to destroy those torpedoes. Bro, that was perfect. We destroyed uh, that warship. And we have an aircraft carrier over there. Okay, so about uh, the missiles, this is not uh, fixed equipment, so you can change the missiles, bro, like, <laughs> I'm so bad. Okay, so let me destroy this aircraft carrier. I'm gonna use uh, the cannon. You can also change the cannon, okay? So you can use the Cupid railgun or other type of cannon, maybe the Monarch. Bro, like, I can't see anything, bro. The problem is that uh, I'm so used to play in the PC version that I'm so bad with uh, this mobile version. Okay, so I'm gonna try to avoid that crash, and I'm going to destroy you, my friend. Yes, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I don't remember if this is actually a new cannon, or if this was old. Okay, so I forgot to tell you that we have five fixed air defenses with uh, this warship, guys. It is pretty powerful, look at that. Also, look at this, because we have a new interface. Let me show you this uh, first, guys, because uh, this is actually one of the craziest uh, parts about uh, this update. Okay, so look at this. So now, in the chat, you will be able to see the avatar and the, the level of every single player. So this is cool. Look at those. All of those are content creators. Okay, nice, my friend. Okay, guys, so this was what I told you. We have... Uh, Five fixed air defenses in this warship. Okay, so this is the Sentinel 25 air defense. So we have 
four of those and it can cause a damage of 39 so okay so at this moment i don't remember if it was a laser or what but we have the sea scepter okay so this is nothing new but we already know that this is a powerful air defense okay so we can't change the air defense okay so we don't have more slots okay so we can change the helicopter and uh, look at this uh, this torpedo as you already saw we can fire four torpedoes and we can cause a lot of damage okay so per torpedo is 27,000 points guys that's crazy almost more than 100,000 points only with uh, the torpedoes and th this is the craziest uh, part guys with uh, this grenade launcher bro like I can imagine the crazy combos that everyone will try with uh, this just let me show you a normal combo okay so we can use uh, this grenade launcher and since it is something similar to using missiles the best option in the other slot could be to use this grenade launcher that will allow us to destroy enemy torpedoes and submarines guys look at this build this is so crazy in the cannon we can equip the monarch maybe and th there's actually a new russian cannon that we will try later but in the it kayo duilio okay so we have uh, two missiles okay so here i recommend you to equip a fast uh, missile as always i know that uh, you don't have uh, the zircon maybe the scalp uh, naval missile or the type uh, 40 missile okay so i know that uh, you don't have too much okay so maybe that amaka could be a good option too and I don't think that an anti-aircraft missile or an anti-submarine missile could be necessary since with the grenade launchers you already have countermeasures against aircrafts with the CAS air defense and also against the submarines with almost every type of grenade launcher okay so let me show you the camouflage because I'm kind of mad with this okay so I like this this one, I mean, it's not the best camouflage, but I like it, you know, it's something normal, I, I think that it's nothing special, but I think this one, look at this, this is not even epic, but I think this is the best camouflage of this update, okay, so let me show you the rest of camouflage that we have, okay, so, the ne okay, so this is the next one, Stargazer, guys, look at uh, this, okay, so... I'm gonna be completely honest, you know that I always tell you the truth and look at this bro, like we don't have any kind of special effect, just some stars, to be honest, this is trash bro, literally this is trash, I don't like this at all. So maybe this will be a premium reward of the premium battle pass of course, and look at the VIP camouflage guys. Okay, so this is not a bad camouflage, but my problem with this is that this is actually the same camouflage of the element camouflage bro, like it's the same thing, look. It's actually the same thing, the only thing is that uh, this one changed colors and uh, that one is forever blue, like bro, come on. It's actually the same thing. It's not worth it, to be honest. And uh, that water camouflage will be the VIP reward, okay? So that's what I guess. I always tell you when the camouflages are good because they normally release good camouflage, but I don't know what happened with uh, this update, to be honest. Okay, guys, so here we have the VIP rewards of this month, okay? So let me show you the first one, which is uh, this... Uh, Poland jet okay so this is the PSF-01 okay so I never heard about this jet before but bro like look at those huge missiles bro what is that yo that's crazy guys so it is really cool it is fast I guess and we have a bunch of uh, missiles I guess this is an air-to-air -air missile so we're gonna test uh, this equipment right now so Bro, look at the engine, that's cool. Oh, so this is actually a VTOL jet. So I want to test uh, these missiles. Okay, so look at that. Let me see the damage. 30,000. Okay, so I need to use flaves. Okay, yeah, this was an anti-aircraft missile, bro. Like, I need to go back. No, 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 please. Don't, don't do it. Don't destroy me. No way, bro. They destroyed my strike fighter, but that's not a problem because we're gonna use the drone. Okay, so first of all, let me deploy the rest of the equipment, the bomber, this helicopter, and look at the drone, okay? 
So this is the Viractar Akinshi, okay? Akinshi, I don't know how to pronounce uh, that. Okay, so this is actually a Turkish uh, drone. We already have the Viractar Muse, and uh, now we have uh, this one. Bro, look at all those missiles. There's no way, we have like six uh, missiles. And uh, it seems that, what is the, that's, those are uh, bombs, right? Yo, this is crazy, guys. So I'm gonna try to attack this uh, Hangzhou class. Okay, so let me try this equipment now. Okay, 6,000 points. He already used uh, flares. So now we're gonna use all the equipment. Look at this, guys. Okay, so let me see that combo. Bro. Like, no way. Look at that damage. <gasps> bro, this is so powerful. Bro, there's no way, guys. Okay, so... No, 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 no. No more players. Let me go back. I'm gonna use the strike fighters because I was destroyed. I didn't even try anything about this. So it seems that we don't have laser. Oh, yeah, we have laser guided missiles. Okay, so now I like this strike fighter. Okay, so 58,000 points. Okay, so we already destroyed this guy. Let's go for this RF Moscow. Okay, so we have. This battleship over there. Look at that. Okay, so that's a lot of damage, bro. Like, those missiles are bigger than the engine of this uh, jet. That's crazy. Bye bye, my friend. Yes, we're going to destroy you with the laser guided missiles, and we did it. Let's search for more enemies. Okay, so we have CN Type 004 right here. My friend, we're going to destroy you, but first, I need to take some cover. No, bro, not again. So, I'm gonna keep using the drone, bro. Like, this drone, I really like it. It is really powerful. We can cause a lot of damage. And, yeah, we have a lot of weapons. And it is pretty fast. Yes, it is. Bro, it is incredible. I like this. I like this uh, update, to be honest. I like the fact that they are adding new nations, bro. Like, having that Spanish warship, bro, like, I like that. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna try the Strike Fighter here in the practice mode because uh, I couldn't uh, show you how powerful this is, bro. Like, I still don't understand those missiles, bro. Like, why are those so big? Okay, so look at that. Let me see the damage. Okay, 36,000 with the laser guided uh, missiles. Let me see those. 20 okay, 48,000. I want to test uh, those huge missiles. Look at these guys. Okay. And uh, 60,000, bro. Like, that's crazy. Okay, so we also have that in the aircraft uh, missile. Oh, okay, so it is not too powerful, the cannons of this strike fighter. I want to combine all the cannons, so let me go back to the aircraft carrier. Bro, like, I like how this works, bro, like, look. It is kind of a futuristic design, okay? So if you, if you go to the left or to the right, you will see how the engine kind of turns as well. Okay, so I want to test uh, this combo, okay? So look at these guys. Yo, look at this, and the total damage 152,000, okay, let's do it again, no, he destroyed some of those with his air defense, okay guys, so basically it is worth it, I like it, I love it, I really like it, okay, so if we talk about the design, this jet is beautiful, I love the fact that uh, these jets have my favorite weapon, which are the laser-guided uh, missiles, okay? So, yeah, I like this. This is pretty cool. Let me test uh, the drone once again. Not this bomber, bro. Get out of here. Okay, so the drone is pretty cool as well, okay? So that's actually not the best uh, target. Okay, so let's go for this tier 3 warship. Okay, so look at that, guys. This is the combined the match of this. 100? I thought it was more. Okay, so let's do it again. And for this time... Oh, yeah, let's go for Yamato. That air defense of Yamato is so bad that it will be the best option to test uh, these weapons. Okay, so look at this. We're gonna test all the missiles at the same time. Okay. Okay, 103,000. 
I guess that it is a pretty decent amount of damage for a drone. Okay, so it is pretty cool, guys. Okay, guys, so we're gonna test the new Russian cannon in the It Duilio, of course. Also, we have equipped the new Buffers 40mm Auto Cannon in this warship, okay? So you will see that in action as well. About the new cannon, the damage of this cannon is 20,000 points. Okay, so it is less than Monarch. Okay, so remember that we have three cannons equipped in this warship, so the damage will be increased a lot. Okay, so I need to use some flares, bro, like, those guys are too aggressive. Okay, so I'm gonna try to attack this Admiral Basisti. So look at that cannon, 80,000 points. And look at the reload time. Bro, like, they're going to destroy me already. What's happening? I need to get some cover now. Yo, no way. Look at all those torpedoes, bro. Like, what's going on here? Yo, this is crazy. They destroyed me, bro. Like, what's wrong with... Them? Those are bots, bro. Those are bots. Bro, like, that was crazy. I don't know what happened in that battle. Okay, so I have equipped a bunch of... Uh, Tier 3 equipment, okay, so not only the cannon, but this Type 89 torpedo and the, the Zircon missile as well. So I'm gonna try to use all the equipment because uh, those uh, VODs are aggressive. Okay, so remember that I can't uh, play against uh, real players because this is the alpha server. Okay, so there are not too much uh, real players uh, here, so it will be almost impossible to find uh, a real battle now. Okay, so we have the perfect target there, let's go for Yamato. Look at that damage with the cannons. Okay, 70,000? Just like that, that's... Okay, 80,000. 80, so remember that here we have 3. So normally it could be 20,000 points of damage. But using this in this warship is actually cool. Look at that, we already destroyed Yamato. Okay, so we should try to destroy... Yeah, bro, like, we have Arsenal ship right there. So I'm gonna try to destroy that guy. 91,000! Okay, so it seems that sometimes we can cause more damage with uh, that. Okay, so I need to aim. It seems like if we aim there, the damage will be more. Bro, like, 123?! Whoa, that's crazy. Okay, so let's aim right here. Okay, so they destroyed that guy already. Look at that, bro. They are attacking me. No, bro. I need to use a repair kit. I forgot that this is a tier 2 warship, okay? So that's actually why this is so weak. And uh, I need to be careful with uh, that RF storm. Bro, I, I'm gonna destroy you, bro. Like, I don't care anymore. Yo, take that, my friend. And bye-bye, uh, Bisakapatanam. Yeah, we're going to destroy you. Bye-bye. We did it! We destroyed uh, that guy. Okay, so almost 1 million damage already. Let's destroy that RF storm. Okay, so look at that. 60,000 points. I'm gonna do it with uh, the cannon. Bye-bye, my friend. Okay, so this is perfect, guys. Look at that. Four targets destroyed 1 million damage dealt. Okay, guys, so I guess uh, that this cannon could uh, be in the VIP reward and the auto cannon in the premium battle pass. Okay, so that's actually my prediction, that's what I guess. I don't think they will add those camouflage in the VIP rewards because those are too bad, as I already told you. About the cannon, I think it's good, it's actually better than Monarch, I told you, look. Okay, so with the upgraded Monarch, the reload time... Okay, so it is actually kind of the same, guys. I'm such an idiot. Yeah, I guess that it's a little bit better, this one. I mean, just look at uh, this. It's a little bit better, but not too much, okay? So Monarch is still better than this. I was wrong. I was wrong in th that one. Okay, guys. So personally, I'm pretty happy with uh, this update. As I already told you, I'm happy that they are including uh, new nations to the game. That's good. I mean, everyone was bored of always having the same nations. I mean, Russia, China, and the USA. Okay, so it is better to have more European countries and uh, also a lot of weapons. Okay, so I like... Uh, I like that new strike fighter, I never saw that before. Also, that drone, that's a good reward, by the way, it is pretty fast and powerful. The only thing that I didn't like about this update were those camouflages, bro, like, those things are horrible. 